Welcome to today's video. As you can see, I have installed Elementary OS Loki on my desktop PC and today we are going to check out what I generally do after I've installed a fresh OS to get it to look the way I want it to look and to customize things just a little bit so I can feel at home. Okay, one of the first things you will want to do in Loki is run this command. I will by the way, put all of the commands in the video description. Because in Loki, what they have done is they have disabled, or at least out of the box, you cannot install or add PPAs. Which is, at least for me, kind of very inconvenient because I like to work with software that, that does not necessarily have to be pre-approved by the developer of the, of the operating system. And that's why I find it very important to run this command to install the software properties and all the other stuff that will allow you to actually add PPAs and install custom software. After that, I highly recommend installing GNOME software because once you've done that, you'll be able to install Debian packages by simply clicking on them, which is, I find, I find it very convenient. And afterwards, I strongly recommend you to install your graphics driver if you have a proprietary or a, let's say a dedicated graphics card then I would urge you to install a proprietary graphics driver. I have done that already. I have installed the latest NVIDIA driver for my 980 Ti. Okay. If you want this good looking overview of your system here, whenever you start the terminal all you'll have to do is install a little program called ScreenFetch. It's, it's, it's done by simply typing sudo apt install screenfetch and then pressing enter. It'll install it for you. And once you've done that, you will have to modify your bash rc file. That is done via. I don't know it. It's. Okay. And once you're in there, just scroll to the bottom of the page and add the command screen fetch. That's all you have to do. Save it and exit it. And then whenever you open the terminal, you will be greeted by this little overview. I find it quite nice. It looks very nice and I kind of like it. As you can see here, Loki uses one of the latest Linux kernels, 4.4 to be specific, and is based on Ubuntu 16.04, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Let's get to it then. I have compiled a little list of things that I always like to install when I do a new operating system. Okay, let's get started. Elementary tweaks will allow you to install custom themes and tweak a lot of the a lot of settings about your elementary OS. For example, I think we can disable this very very annoying little prompt that always appears when you want to paste a command from the internet. It's good for users who don't know what they are doing, but it can get very, very annoying. But we want to paste it anyway. Yes, we want to add the PPA. And afterwards, we will want to install elementary tweaks. What's it called again? Elementary tweaks, yes. go and shouldn't take long okay all ah, right 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 if I'm not mistaken it should be integrated into the settings now ah, here we go very nice we will be able to choose our theme and let's see if we can yes unsafe paste alert that's what we do not want at least I don't want it I find it to be highly annoying. Okay. Nice. We've taken care of that one. Next thing, I'm a heavy user of Dropbox and in elementary OS the Dropbox icon in the wing panel does not really work that well. I think it doesn't work at all if you just install Dropbox and this little script should 
get it to work properly for you. Before you can use that, you will have to install Git, which is easily done by simply typing install Git. And that shouldn't take very long either. Okay, now that we've done that, we can clone the git package. Okay. This, uh, I think we don't want to run install.sh, we want to run loki support.sh. But I'm not really sure, we'll have to try. I believe, okay, I believe we have to install it first. Apparently the local support does not install the Dropbox. Yes, okay. So this will download Dropbox and install Dropbox for you. It'll automatically download the latest version of Dropbox. It seems like this is going to take roughly one and a half minutes, which is why I'm going to cut and then jump back to where we were. Do you want to install custom icons? Yes, we do. Ah, very nice. Let's see. Okay, that works. I will then, and you can see already that there is also the little indicator icon in, in the wing panel. Okay, I'll enter my personal stuff and I'll see you in a second. Okay, welcome back. Um, we have just installed the Dropbox and now it's time to get Elementary Eyes to look beautiful. I really like the new mix icon theme, but there's other fantastic options like Mocha and so many, so many others. But I personally like new mix and which is why I'm going to install new mix. We'll have to add the PPA first and then update. Which hopefully shouldn't take long. Yes. And it includes the Numix icon theme and the Numix icon theme circle, I believe. Maybe there's some others in there still, but I don't know. I always use Numix or Numix Circle. Okay. Once we have done that, it is time to install the Arc GTK theme. I like Arc very much, but there's other options for you if you don't like Arc. Let's see if it works with elementary OS. Okay, so there's pre-built packages available for Ubuntu and that means we can probably use them for elementary OS. It seems like this is what we want. Let's try again. There we go. Okay, I think this might have been there before, but I kinda didn't see. Okay, I think we have installed all the goodies. Then let's 
contract to work. We will want to use a nature tweak and select the arc theme. Very nice, it works nicely, at least at first glance. No? Okay. What I don't really like is the, um, the theme for our panel down here. And the icons. We want Numix Circle. Very nice. The cursor, cursor can stay elementary, that's alright. Uh, it seems that there is no option to customize Plank or customize the theme of Plank in this version of elementary or elementary tweaks. Um, not to worry, not to worry. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm not sure which one I like best. Yes, transparent. This is what we want, at least this is what I want. Can't speak for you, but this is what I want. I want it to be transparent. The height delay is all right. Yes. Clock Doppler, no, we don't need that. Okay. I'm actually wondering if I can have it on both displays. doesn't seem to be the case. Alright, not to worry, we'll just keep it on that one then. Okay, this is what I generally do after I install a new operating system. I feel that this gives me a very good looking operating system with almost no work. Elementary OS Loki is just the next step in the evolution of Elementary OS. It's just an, an improved Freya actually and well I'm quite happy with it so far. I will be using it extensively over the next few uh, I suppose it's months during my master's thesis and if you have any questions regarding elementary OS you can simply ask me in the comments. If you liked the video then please give me a like, subscribe to my channel for more content on Linux and gaming and if you want me to make a specific video, then just ask me. I hope you liked it. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.